Hello, this is Jeffrey Tucker. I wanted to tell you about the newest ebook release from the Laissez Faire Club. It's Rose Wilder Lane's Young Pioneers. And I read it for the first time last weekend, and it's in my top, I don't know, five favorite novels I've, I've ever read. It helps explain a little bit about the background to her own 1947 book, uh, The Discovery of Freedom, uh, which is just a masterpiece in another club selection that you can download. Uh, so Young Pioneers came out in 1932. That's the same year of the first book of the Little House series. Some people uh, have argued, and I think very persuasively, that Rose Wilder Lane was clearly the author of the Little House series. The stories were her mother's, but she was the writer, the author, the crafter of that amazing prose. And if you know the Little House series, maybe you read them as a kid, you love them. Well, uh, Young Pioneers is a little bit more of an adult-oriented uh, book. The action's a little more intense. Um, it's a little more dramatic. The vocabulary is at a higher level, and I, I read it aloud because I just couldn't believe what a beautiful writer she she really is. I mean, her her prose is just masterful in every way. The plot concerns a young couple, newly married, 16 and 18, moving from the east to the west at a time when lots of people were trying to do this. It wasn't for the faint of heart. Unsettled west. Uh, they moved to the Dakota Territories, found a, a small a plot of land, moved into a dugout, and were happy with their life, and started growing crops. And then things started to go wrong, and they were tested. Uh, both, the, uh, both Molly and David were, were tested in the most profound ways, ways that I find unimaginable. The great enemy they faced, of course, was raw nature, right? Which none of us really experience anymore. Uh, this is a world without without smartphones, without electricity, without any music, means to communicate, and profound loneliness out there in the middle of nowhere, and uh, no running water, uh, no food supplies, uh, just a handful of things they had. She had a couple of books, the Bible, Tennyson's poems. Um, he had a, a, uh, horses, and and you know that's that's about it, and uh, and some seeds, you know, and they tried to tried to make a go of it. And they made mistakes, um, but they overcame them. So it's a story of, of a, a tremendous personal trial and uh, overcoming, and what it takes to dig down deep into your character to find the thing that that really brings uh, that can repair your life and help you live a free and a freer and more independent life. That's what it's all about in the book. So it celebrates the human spirit, essentially. That's that's the message. And I don't want to give the plot line away here, but I, I do want to say a couple of things. One is that this book highlights something that that's bugged me for a very long time, just how much we take our prosperity for granted. We've all been born into this world, inheriting the accumulated capital of so many generations and all the technology and all the things. We all take it for granted. It's not possible not to. Uh, we can't even imagine what it would be like to face a world where these things didn't exist. We get annoyed um, if the application on the, the newest application we downloaded uh, to our iPhone doesn't work exactly the way we wanted to. <laughs> I mean, you know, protest movements against Walmart, you know, uh, people hating on fast food, you know, these are first world problems uh, in a big way. Um, just imagine a, a world without any anything like that. No grocery stores, no medical doctors, no no medicine, um, no running water, uh, nothing. Nothing certain, nothing sure. And uh, it's very interesting to be thrown back into that world as this novel really does. So that's one of the themes. It, it also deals with credit markets and the dangers of, of um, uh, debt. Um, again, 1932, this is a period in which uh, she was very close to Garrett Garrett, who, who wrote The Bubble That Broke the World, um, the same world, the same uh, year, another club selection about how the debt hangover from World War I uh, was still vexing the country as late as 1932 and ultimately led to the conditions that created uh, the, the bubble and then the bust of 1929. So anyway, she picks up on some of the same themes and in the same kind of way as Garrett Garrett does in his, his uh, non-fiction work, the Bubble That Broke the World. Um, so it's a, it's a powerful, it's, it's a tremendously powerful work. It'll take you all of an evening and then all of a morning uh, uh, to read it. And um, I hope you do it this weekend because it had a, 
profound effect on me. It changed the way I look at the world, which a great book should do. Uh, the, the book is Young Pioneers by Rose Wilder Lane, and it's available for club members at lfb.org. Thank you very much.